Hello, hello everyone, Victoria from Bodygraph here and I am going to show you today how to connect Bodygraph with a Stripe. So now if you're selling any digital or physical products uh, online, obviously you will need a payment platform that handles your payments. And Stripe, one of them, and the good news is that Bodegraph Chat has a Stripe integration, so that means you can make an easy connection. Today I will be sharing the screen with you and I will be connecting Stripe for the very first time. I just want to show you how easy it is to find. I knew how to connect the Stripe previously because the Stripe had a different dashboard layout. It has been changed and I never tested it before. So I want to see to show you basically like live right now, how easy it is to figure it out and to connect it yourself and start selling the products with ease and without a hassle so you can actually uh, make the reports live at your website so without further ado let's begin okay so now you can see my screen and i am at my bodygraph chat account what do i like to do i like to have two tabs open or multiple tabs open when i'm working with multiple platforms that makes connection and any sort of job or linking or anything way easier than just switching one going forward and back. So at one tab, I opened the Bodegraph chart and on the different tab, I opened my Stripe account and connected to both dashboards. Um, now Stripe, I just connected today for this video purposes and uh, it is at the sandbox uh, mode, which is a test mode. Uh, I did not provide my business details just yet. So obviously um, that is a, um, I cannot turn it on on a live mode. Now, if you want to sell the reports at the live mode, obviously you will need to switch uh, to the live mode. Once your uh, account is verified, you will have a little toggle just here, which will allow you to switch between the modes. So my one will be, today's demonstration will be a test mode, but it's pretty similar progress. And I will uh, mention for you what's the difference once uh, you want to connect the live mode. Let's begin with the Bodygraph Chat account. So we need to head to the My App section, Payment Method, and click Create New. As you can see, we have uh, multiple payment app integrations, but in today's videos, we will be, the video will be focusing on Stripe. So I'll select Stripe and click Next. Now you can give it a name um, just for you to identify the app connection. This will, if you have multiple payment apps or if you have multiple Stripe connections, that will help you to identify payment method when you will be attaching it to your reports. Now, because my uh, Stripe is at the test mode, that means I need to toggle on the test mode here and to find the secret key from the test mode. This is very important thing to note. If test mode here is enabled, that means the secret key must come from the test mode or sand mo sandbox mode from the Stripe as well. If the test mode here is disabled, that means the secret key uh, needs to come from the live Stripe as well. It cannot be secret key test or, or live, and this is a test enabled, otherwise that will give you an error uh, message basically it will not work because my one is at the sandbox mode that means I am enabling test mode as well here now we need to find a secret key as I mentioned previously I do not know the dashboard new layout of the dashboard just very well yet the first time that I am connecting it uh, but it's pretty obvious for me that there is a developers dashboard at the bottom left corner if I will click here it's very obvious it says API keys. That's most likely will, will be the key that I will need to copy. And very easily, just in a second, I can find that secret key is located here. Now I need to reveal it. And that's the difference if your uh, test code will start with SK test. Your live mode, when you will toggle on that toggle to the be live mode, which I don't have it at my testing account, this will change to sk underscore life 
So you need to click on it to copy, go back, paste it and click save changes. Now very important for any sort of app if you're connecting here, when you're copying in any credentials that there would be no space before or after secret key. Because this was auto copy, obviously that does not copy and add any spaces, but that could be a reason in troubleshooting, for example, issues if there are any errors coming up when you're testing your Stripe. Now you could think like, okay, this is the end, I can go and test it, but that is not the end. And there is very, very important step to set up. And that is a webhook. What webhook does, um, webhook basically sends the signal from Stripe to Bodygraph chat, say, hey, Bodygraph, I got the payment. It's time to load the report. And if we skip this step and we do not set up the webhook, or if we set up webhook incorrectly, that means you will receive a payment into the Stripe, but after the payment is going through, customer won't get the report loaded for them. So that might look like a scam and that's what we don't want because we're building the decent and very trustworthy business, let's go ahead then and set up the webhook, which is second and very important part of this connection. To do so, we will need to copy the webhook URL. Now we are to add it to the Stripe. Let's get back to Stripe. Now what I will do again, most likely that's going to be somewhere at the settings. Let's check under the developers and straightway I can identify that it says webhooks. Click webhooks, very obvious button says add destination. Now for any sort of uh, sale, uh, we need to rec system recognize all the events. That's why I will select all events and proceed. We need the webhook add point, so I will not click anything else just to continue. And this is where it asks me to put that URL that I earlier copied from Bodygraph and then create a destination. It takes a couple of seconds and then the webhook is added. Now it seems that we completed the connection. The last step would be a testing. So let's just go right now to the reports. I will set up the payment method to the report. So click set up the payment, give the price, select the currency and click save. Now go to the integrations or your website where this report is live. Obviously you will need to go to the reading reports and toggle on that report which you want to sell. And then you can go to your website or in this case I will be testing at the preview because I do not have right now any testing websites ready basically. So what I will do, I will run a dummy chart just with a random date for the testing purposes only. And just please remember that my one, my Stripe is set up with a uh, test mode. That means I can proceed and see, okay, does it redirect me to the Stripe checkout? It does. That means I can also test any promotional codes here and input if you can create it at the Stripe, but that's what I didn't do yet. So I can provide the details and because it's a test mode, I don't need to provide my real payment method. I can put the dummy information as long as it is within the uh, required years, just random information and click pay. Now, if you will connect the live mode, I still do recommend to actually um, test it. Set up maybe price for the $1 and purchase it yourself. This way you will see if the payment goes through. And this is what the webhook does. It sends the signal back like, hey, I got your money. Time to download button, uh, get ready for the customer. If the webhook will not be set up or set up incorrectly, that, you know, loading mode will stuck forever for customer and uh, it will never load for the customer. So that's good indicator that there is an issue with the webhook. Now, also another uh, thing to note that, as you can see, the report is loaded for the customer as a 
pop-up window. Now, if customer has very restrictive add-ons that blocks the ads, the pop-ups, or any restrictive uh, browsers such as Google Duck, Brave, or any other, like there are so many recently launched uh, browsers for the privacy uh, purposes that uh, they are super, super restrictive. Uh, they are blocking all the ads and everything, which is amazing. But when you purchasing anything like flight tickets, buying the reports online. Most likely these things are set up with a sort of pop-ups and that might interfere the process and customer will pay for the product, but most likely the pop-up window will not show for the show up for customer and they will not get the reports. So uh, very important then to note, as you can see, downloaded the report to my uh, d device and I can open it and save it for myself and read my report. Uh, now, if you want to, uh, for, if you want to prevent basically the customers who got the restricted browsers or maybe some add-on add-ons, so and you want to ensure uh, that they receive a report, there is another option to set up the email delivery. Uh, not the payment set up the email so you can set up the email delivery either using our domain or using your own domain and that means that after payment goes through they will receive both the download button and uh, they will receive as well the download link to the email so that they, they could download the report so in this case if the browser is super restrictive and they will not get that pop-up uh, most likely they will receive an email at least with the link where they can download the report so as you can see my test mode it works absolutely fine meaning that my connection works perfectly all i have left to do right now and if you connected it uh, from the start for, with the live mode and live uh, secret key that you don't need to do anything else right now i need to proceed and verify my uh, account so i can actually get that live mode uh, uh, enabled and then i need to replace the secret key with sk live secret key and turn off the test mode so i can actually test it and with the live purchase and start selling the reports for the customers and grow my business so this is the video about stripe connection and as you can see i actually connected it pretty easy and it did not require for me a lot of knowledge that was the first time i was checking where is the webhook where is the api key at the stripe so it's pretty easy to do as long as you let yourself try and if you have any questions or if you will have any sort of issues uh, in regards to this connection please feel free to actually reach out either through the live chat or the email and you know we will be more than happy to assist you further and to investigate your account and see what the possible issue could be so best of luck in setting it up and reach out if you need any further assistance